and welcome to this gaming lesson. I'm Jennifer Kerr. And I'm Dave Lees, and we're here to talk about a couple of our ladies, Courtney. Yeah, so Kim. these are the women who could contend for that world team. Maybe they're not coming in as writing medalists, mm -hmm. but definitely are in the mix in the story this week. Let's start with Courtney Hicks. So there's been a lot of talk about Courtney Hicks. I think a lot of people here feel that Courtney wants it the most amongst the top women, that she's really gunning for this, and it's that desire that could really carry her uh, to uh, the podium here. One thing is she didn't do a lot of jumps in her run through in practice today. So she did do jumps by themselves. She looks ready to go, but then we didn't really see much in the program. To me, I would have been more convinced about Courtney being in the top three if she did the program. I didn't know if it was a strategy not to put her did out. Did she the skate judges, early in the She did skate rotation. early, but the judges were there and I just felt, look, I, I think Gracie's program, very impressive to see on a uh, you know on Wednesday when you're not gonna do it long until Saturday, I was very impressed by well, Grace. Well, it's just another. Program. I just think it's another day. You just need mm -hmm. to go out and do the program. It shouldn't right. really matter, but it is nationals and their strategy mm -hmm. that come into comes into play. How about Hannah Miller though? Because switching sure. coaches this season, making that switch to Raphael. What do you think about her? Today? So it's interesting. Hannah Miller did a full run through. Ashley did not. Again, other coaches saying that Raphael kind of goes by the skater. Mm -hmm. The thing with Hannah Miller is that some of the jumps are still under-rotated. The double axle, triple toe, it was definitely a double downgrade uh, in the run through today. She did many others. I thought that it was a single carat, kind of at best when I saw it today. She looks like she's working very hard with Raphael. I thought that the flips were potentially under uh, both of them, both the, the, the triple flip, double toe, and the triple flip by itself in the program. Overall, she looks trained, it looks ready, it's just going to come down to what the callers do. She could be anywhere within that top 10, depending on the points and how it goes along. You know, we saw Brady Tunnell today. This is a skater who's very consistent. She does short run through, not a long, I believe, but she looked very well trained. I would see her, you know, around 10th, 12th here. And then I think at Mariah Bell. Some great things today she from really Mariah. She had that breakout long program last year at Nationals. So I don't see her repeating that long program here. And I think that it's just not the way her season's been going. She, I think she'll do fine. I don't think it'll be a disaster. I wouldn't expect that moment just because we haven't seen her do a run through like that. I don't think at all this season. Yeah, not when we were even there. Even when we were visiting her and but a solid her. Yeah. some there are mistakes. Good, good moments, yeah. and I feel like it just. She's and you see her edges on Instagram the other day. I mean, she has so many wonderful qualities. It looks like there's you know changes perhaps going on in her technique and her skating, but I think she will skate well here. I think she's certainly contender for the top eight. I don't know how high in the top six she can really get though, depending on how the other ladies are looked in practice Yeah, today. and it just takes time as a skater when you're adding in, she's adding in the flip toe, these new elements, and working on her artistry. The flip toe definitely is gonna be a little bit of an issue, I believe, for her today. You know, issues in practice. Uh, you know, some falls, some beautiful jumps in practice as well. When she's on, she's great. It's just gonna come down to that consistency.